So what makes the Sonic Boom of the South different from any other HBCU band is the energy that we exude in our performances. We practice, 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 day after day, week after week, but you only have one time to do this one performance. Typically, we start our preparations for the game on Monday, and we practice uh, from 5.30 to 10 o'clock, uh, Monday through Friday. Overall, throughout the week, we're making sure that the students are having a good time in the band program. Make sure that they're mentally astute to meet the demands within the band program as well because it takes a lot of mental capacity to do what we do here in the Sonic Boom of the South. I prepare for game day, uh, so I wake up, we go down, we have a meeting, and then I go back, lay down, I have to take a nap. I wouldn't really eat too heavy. And then right when we get on the bus, I call my daughter and have a conversation with her. That's, the, uh, that, that's what keeps me going, knowing that it's game day, it's time to make sure I, I cash out the day for her. And then I go in and I have my music going, we go out and stretch. I just be locked in, just ready to go. Now my music turned me up though. My music had me right. <laughs> It'd be nervous before the game. And then like, once I say my prayers, I feel like God got me and uh, he gonna take care of the rest. So I just like, when that opening kickoff come, I shove my shoulders and I just be loose out there and I be ready. I be trying to enjoy the moment, you know, just have fun. Don't think about no bad thoughts out there. I love music. Before I leave the room, I would put on my gospel playlist and I would just listen to that and I would pray and I'd be like, Lord, please watch over me. Please watch over my girls. Don't let anybody get hurt. Just let us have a great time. Let us have fun. Let us um, do the best that we can. <laughs> So the band is a great organization, but the band is a great band made up of great individual players. And in order for the band to be great, you have to be a great player individually to add to that greatness. So it's important for each person to take the initiative, self-accountability, to practice on their own so that when you come together, all we're doing, we're just carving out and we're polishing the, the final product of the band. The traditional instrumentation for band is basically what we have here at Jackson State University will be the piccolos. A lot of marching bands have flutes, but we have piccolos here at Jackson State. It's a smaller high-pitched instrument or a rendition of the flute. And then of course we have clarinets, we have saxophones, we have alto sax and tenor sax. And then you go on to trumpets, and then we have mellophones, which is the marching rendition of a French horn. Then we go on to baritones, which is the marching rendition of euphoniums, and then you have trombones, then you have sousaphones, which is the big instruments, which is the marching rendition of the tuba, and then you have percussion. We have our drum majors as well, who serve as field commanders and leaders of the band program. You know, that's the number one thing about being a drum major. Of course, we might look good on camera, we might do look good in the uniform, but inside the band hall, that's what it really matters. You know, being that leader, being somebody that can inspire and motivate. And so with, with all those particular small pieces, it combines the sonic boom of the South. But I would be remiss if I did not recognize our J-Set unit, who is very much so a part of the band. The J-Set, they're not only embedded in the culture here at Jackson State University in our band program, they are embedded in the culture of dance, period. I mean, so much so, you have individuals that, that coin the name J-Sets to J-Setting as an actual dance style. J-Setting is a verb, not only a noun, the legacy for the Prince and Jay Sets is history, tradition, the wow factor that you would see in any dance squad or collegiate team. I like to think it came and originated from the Prince and Jay Sets. It was just something always different about the Prince and Jay Sets. It's not just boxed into one ballet, jazz, hip-hop. It's a plethora of different forms put together. <laughs> to prepare for game day, it's more of 
okay, we worked on this, we did this, so we're not gonna stress it too much. Game day, it's just, you know what it is, let's just go do what we came to do. Of course we human. So you know, of course, yeah, we be turning it up on the bus and everything, but when you step off the bus and see your family, your friends, your neighbors and everything, of course that, ne that nervousness is gonna hit you regardless, like I said, because we human. At the end of the day, you know what work you didn't put in to be here. You know the preparation you didn't put in, you know the responsibility that you have, and you know the love that you have for it. So at the end of the day, if you love it, you go get it, you give your all, and as long as you do your best, man, that's all we can ask you. Let's get it.